our benevolent dictators, the Canadian government, have <laughs> agreed to sign the Nunavut Land Claim Agreement, giving uh, rise to the newest territory in Canada, Nunavut, which means our land, the capital of which is... Calgary! Yes! <laughs> Uh, so many times down south we hear people say equal it. Uh, it's not true. It's a halloween. You gotta choke on it a little bit when you say it. So back in 1993, today was the day that uh, the Nunavut Land Claim Agreement was signed, um, giving us our own territory in Nunavut. So very, very happy and so honored to be um, sharing stories from the Arctic in this burning hot land of yours. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in honor of Nunavut Day, um, I would just like to share a little poem with you. And I know that a lot of uh, Southerners and also Americans make fun of us for living in igloos and say, oh, y'all living in igloos up there? I wrote a poem about an igloo, so <clears throat> it's called Igloput, and in Inuinaktun, the language where I'm from, um, it means our igloo. Walk across the ice with me. We'll take our little family, tundra, taiga, journey far, guided by the northern star. With your strong hands and my strength too, we lay each block and set it true. Spiral curve and tap to lock, our house stands proud, snow turns to rock. This dome, the womb, holds life with care. Through storms that taunt or weather fair, emerge and squint at day so bright. When tired, we rest by quick light. It's time to leave, it's time to roam. We leave this house, but take our home. What once held life, now just a shell. We say goodbye and wish it well. Please stay standing stout and true for tired legs that might pass through. Some peace and warmth, a place to live. Who knew that blocks of snow had so much to give? Oh, what?